Welcome back. We have made our way outside and we are firing up the grill at this 830 hour. Thanks so much for keeping it here. We are uh, the grill at Tory Pines is hosting their highly anticipated playing with fire grilling event and with me live today from the lodge at Tory Pines executive chef Kelly Crossan, and we also have chef de cuisine Ryan Jerzowski. Thank you so much both of you for being here this morning. Of course. Yeah, We're excited us. to be here. Tell us it smells so good. It already looks so good. We're getting that beautiful grill mark. Yeah. When is it and what can people expect? Um, so the most, the one coming up most uh, recent is August um, 14th. That's okay. with Ronnie Schwant of Bluebridge Hospitality. They have like steak and little Frenchie on Coronado um, and Liberty Market. Um, so he's gonna come, we're gonna be grilling up quite a few uh, really fun summer items. And the Lodge at Torrey Pines, it is open to the public. If you have not been, obviously it is beautiful and not just for members. Uh, there is no membership at yeah. all. Yeah, it's definitely uh, privately owned and open to anybody who'd like to come. We have really world-class dining, so. Okay, so tell me about enjoy. the guest chefs and just kind of what you've experienced in the past too. Yeah, so we actually started this event um, in, gosh, it was probably five or six years okay. ago. We built a beautiful chimney and started focusing on wood fire grilling for all of the uh, entrees and sort in the grill um, from there uh, we kind of decided you know we don't get to see our friends enough chefs yeah. are really busy so on Monday nights we started deciding to invite our friends and uh, cook so yeah. that turned into a, uh, an event a monthly event 5:30 to 7 on the grill patio um, yeah so we have Ronnie Schwant August 14th um, okay. We have Eric Gallerstein of Mastiff Sausage Company. That's going to be uh, September 11th. And then October 9th is Greg Fry of the Golden Door. Wow. Yeah, so we're really excited to have uh, people come out and join us. It's really cool because we're actually out here um, grilling on our big chimney and the guests can come up and chat with us. We love talking about what we're doing and usually we get guests who are really interested in it. No so we're always doubt. able to give nice tips and, and talk about what we're doing. So Ryan, speaking of, what are some good tips for the grillers at home? <laughs> Man. Uh, so since like we the grill it's all about smoke and yeah. like since like not a lot of people have smokers at home a good tip is like possibly putting uh, wood chips in the corner and you kind of get to develop the smoky flavor when you enclose the grill Absolutely. and like you get to develop those flavors yeah. and then uh, always making sure that you're keeping the temperatures at room temp um, that way like as you put it on the grill like you don't get that stick and you get those sure. nice marks and it just like makes it a lot easier process especially for those uh, home cooks. So how's the playing with fire grilling event for you been and talk to me about what we already have going. It's a lot of fun just <laughs> get to play with like beer and like the grilling it's just like scream summer and so like here we have a, a play on like a summer classic of a beer can chicken so we awesome. took we took like the red <laughs> we took the red trolley ale and we brined it for 24 hours yeah. and then we smoke it out in the smoker for a, probably another three to four hours oh, nice. just to get all those flavors and that just like to develop, just develop yeah. and it just like makes the dish. Yeah. So what are we working on so here? What do we here have? We're, we chicken. have the beer brine chicken <laughs> and we have the grilled squash, summer squash and grilled corn. Nothing and better than grilled no, corn. Oh, it's it's so fresh right now. So fresh and it's screamed summer. Yeah. And we're so. turning that into a succotash oh. that we'll serve the chicken with. What a great way to do that. So what yeah. are you making? So this is a summer corn succotash. We take the grilled corn. Um, it's shelling bean season as well. So we got fresh black eyed peas and cooked those off. Off, um, chopped up the grilled squash add that in there um, and that's it super duper simple a little bit of uh, chicken stock if we need it um, to, to loosen up the succotash but it's it's really the perfect summer summer um, uh, set to go with your chicken the really good thing is you can use anything right yeah. like if you don't have squash or if you want to use eggplant or anything it's just a little just you can be, just, creative. You yeah. can be super creative use what you have yeah um, okay so live fire cooking too like it's exciting to watch and it must be exciting for you guys as well we love it oh, we yeah. love it yeah it's, well, it's nothing better than playing with fire <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's true <laughs> so cliche but so true <laughs> well again yeah. it smells great it looks beautiful tell me uh, let's share the location and yeah. Anything else you want on the event? Yeah, so again, it's at the grill at the Lodge at Torrey Pines. Um, we have a 
month, it's the summer series every uh, second Monday of every month. So that's easy if you don't remember the exact dates that I had, 5.30 to 7. So you don't have to feel like it's a huge commitment on a Monday night. You okay. can just go have a nice dinner um, and then be able to head home at a reasonable hour. Um, and it serves sort of family style. So we'll set them on platters, set them out, and you kind of serve yourself, take what you'd like. You have a conversation with the chef as they're cooking it. So it's that's really neat, fun. I like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's neat to interact with, with your, you know, patrons. Yeah, yeah. And like we're stuck always behind yeah. a line and not really getting <laughs> to like get feedback or like yeah. even get to talk to guests. Yeah. And so being out there with everyone, it's just like, it's, I think it's refreshing and like good to hear and actually like getting to know like our actual customers. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I think ahead. it's fun for for them as well. We have 40 guests that come, so you can sell. We sell up to 40 tickets, okay. but it's open seating. So you're sitting in an area. If you've ever been to the Grill, it's a big open patio, um, and you'll end up sitting at a table next to people that you maybe haven't met before, and you get to okay. have some real connections that way. Uh, San Diego is yeah. so unique. So yeah, the Playing with Fire Grilling event should be so great. Thanks yeah. so much for for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. Appreciate it.